technology education, community development, and empowerment of women. Education, people to people contact, and cooperation in numerous international arenas. There's also support and cooperation on defense and security matters. Bangladesh is now a vibrant country with a stable, with a stable, with a stable government, with a stable government, and a fast-growing economy, and an impressive GDP growth. There's more than a little time. That in 2019, the GDP growth was 8.3 percent. Remarkable growth, 8.3 percent. So I look forward to working with Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. As we look ahead to the next 50 years of British and Bangladeshi friendship, I wish everyone the very best for your golden journey. <coughs> it was noticed by, he had contacted Central Intelligence Agency, he had made contacts with them, and many of those players who were with him then later came into the picture. I'm not saying they, they had, they planned it or they did it, but they had a role in facilitating what happened. That's the what I'm not not pointing names at anybody. But also, because during this time, many people, many Bengalis, ambitious young leaders who were in the liberation war, 